A while back, I asked the members of my Facebook group what were their least favorite tarantula species. Well, I compiled their answers, and today we're gonna count down the top five most hated tarantulas. So let's get to it. We're gonna start off with number five, and that is the Heteroscota maculata, or the Togo starburst baboon. In spite of being one of the cheapest and most readily available tarantulas in the hobby, this black and white beauty is usually not liked by most keepers, mainly because they're fast, reclusive, have potent venom, and can be very defensive. Some of the worst bite reports that I've ever read have been from the Heteroscota maculata, but I don't think that's the reason they are so disliked. For being such a beautiful tarantula with an amazing pattern and black and white colors, you hardly ever see them. In fact, I have two in my collection that I've had for a very long time, and this is about all the footage or photos I've ever been able to take of them. So they're a stunning species, but rarely ever seen, which is probably why most people have them ranked very low on their list. Number four is the Histriocratus gigas, or the Cameroon Red Baboon Tarantula. This is an old world terrestrial species famous for their bad attitude. They have a very defensive nature and are quick to give you a threat pose. I don't even need to open up the enclosure. Simply walking by is enough of a reason for her to freak out and give me a threat pose. They're a beautiful brown tarantula that grows to a very large size. But being an old world species, they do have fairly potent venom. And interestingly, this tarantula is known to not only eat insects like crickets and roaches, but they've been observed pulling fish out of the water. So some keepers have a large water dish in the enclosure that they'll drop in small goldfish or guppies as feeders for this species. Despite this very unique behavior, they just have a nasty personality. Definitely not a species that you would want to ever try to handle. It's probably a mixture between their personality and their boring drab brown color that has landed them at the bottom of many tarantula keepers list of species that they really enjoy. Now number three is the Afana Pelmahensi or the Texas Brown Tarantula. This is a very docile, adorable, and sweet species, and I was surprised so many people listed this as one of their least favorites. But it seems from the comments left, a lot of people don't like this species just because it's so common and so brown. It's just kind of drab, and many people in the United States, especially the central and southern states, see this tarantula walking around all the time. They're very common from Missouri to Texas, Colorado, all over the place. But beyond that, they're also extremely slow growing. Being inexpensive and readily available, many people will buy this tarantula as a spiderling and then be very frustrated and disappointed that it takes years and years for it to grow to an adult size. All those factors combined have led to this species being one of the most hated tarantulas in the hobby. Now, before we get to the rest of the list, I wanna give a shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Seven Wonders Tarantulas. They just launched a new Halloween sale called the Seven Spooky Sale, where you can save 25% off all orders over $100. They're featuring their shock boxes or their version of mystery boxes in this month's sale. And you can pick the tier of shock box that works best for your budget, starting at $100 and going up above a thousand bucks. And if you use the code SWT25 at checkout, you're gonna save 25% off your entire order. So you can get a $100 shock box for just 75 bucks. Beyond that, they also have velvet spiders, and many other tarantulas, true spiders, and invertebrates available right now. So head over to sevenwonderstees.com, use the code SWT25 at checkout, and get 25% off all orders over 100 bucks. Thanks again, Seven Wonders Tarantulas, for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to the list. Number 
before we get to the final two species on this list, I want to tell you what my least favorite tarantula is. And I love all tarantulas, but it was not difficult for me to pick the one I like the least. And that is the Ternopelmum uticus, or the King Baboon Tarantula. I'm sure a lot of you all are groaning right now because I've gotten so many requests to make videos on this particular species. And they're a pretty cool tarantula, famous for their stridulation, or rubbing their hairs on their legs together to make a hissing noise when they feel threatened or upset. But they're this weird color. It's kind of a brownish gold puke color. And they've got those really thick back legs that just kind of creep me out. But all of that aside, the main reason I don't like this species is because they're a large tarantula, but they are fossorial and rarely ever come out of their burrows. I mean, fossorial tarantulas are cool. And sometimes the fact you rarely get to see them makes it that much more magical when you do catch them out in the open. But even before I had this king baboon tarantula, I had one years ago. And I can count on three fingers how many times I actually ever saw it out. So I feel it's just a lot of hype for a brown tarantula that spends most of its time hidden in its burrow. That's why it is my least favorite tarantula. The number two species should be no surprise, and that is the Tilicato Vogans, or the Mexican Red Rump Tarantula. This is just a basic black tarantula with red setae on the abdomen, and it looks similar to a few other tilicotyl species. They don't do a lot of moving around, but they are quick to kick hairs and give threat poses. And in Central Florida, they have become an invasive species. In both my experience and that of others that I've spoken to, female Mexican red rump tarantulas seem very determined to try to eat the male after they mate. They are a beautiful tarantula in my opinion, but they're extremely common, have a nasty attitude, and I think people are just burnt out by them. Mainly because they've turned into a meme, where anytime someone posts a picture of their tarantula trying to get the species identified, you will quickly see a barrage of comments that says, looks like my T. Vogans. So they've essentially been memed to the number two spot of the most hated tarantulas. And now, the number one most hated tarantula in the hobby. I was both shocked, but also not surprised to find out. They're one of my personal favorite species, but I understand why a lot of people don't like them. And that is the Pteranoculus morenus, or the orange baboon tarantula. Known for their defensive behavior and speed, this species is also prone to hide in their burrows for extended amounts of time. Though they don't have the strongest venom of any tarantula, it is pretty potent, and they seem more prone to give threat poses, slap, and even try to bite when compared to other species. I've also heard anecdotal evidence that they don't only bite once. If they bite, they're gonna bite you two or three times in a row. I don't know if there's any scientific basis to that, but old wives' tales like that is enough to put some fear into a new keeper. In my opinion, they're one of the coolest looking tarantulas with their bright orange colors. But of course, I'm kind of partial to that orange coloration. They also do some very extensive and beautiful webbing in their enclosures. But the fact that they spend a lot of time hiding in those web tunnels, rarely coming out for people to enjoy that beautiful orange color probably does not help their popularity. There's also a lot of people that have done a lot of breeding of this species in the United States, which typically leads to them being given away as freebies when people order other spiders. And if you're new to keeping tarantulas and you're nervous about old world species and all of a sudden there's an OBT included in your last spider order, you may be a little nervous, freaked out, and just generally not like that spider. But even though they've got a reputation of being very defensive and very fast, which both are pretty much true, they're not a difficult species to keep at all. They're great eaters. Their husbandry is very simple. I mean, they're an arid species. You just give them substrate in a water dish and a couple things to web and hide in, and you're good to go. And in my experience, if you give them adequate places to web up and hide and just tap on the enclosure gently before opening the door, they're gonna run and hide in the safety of their burrows, making it very easy and safe to pull out any boluses or dead prey or refill their water or do anything in the enclosure you need to do. Just be sure you use tongs because like I said, they can be a little fast. So even though I don't agree with this species being the most hated tarantula in the hobby, that was the overwhelming consensus from the post I made in the Facebook group. Now, if you're not a member of the Tarantula Collective Facebook group, there is a link down below in the description of this video and every video I've ever made. So if you're on Facebook, 
head on over and join so you can participate in the next poll like this that I do. Now, if you want to see a lot more of my top five and top 10 tarantula lists, just check out this playlist right here. As always, I appreciate you watching. Subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for buying Tarantula Collected merchandise, and I will see you next Tuesday. <laughs>